after. <laughs> Say hi, Chester. Say hi, buddy. Oh, Chester, I love this on you. It's so good. <gasps> Hello. Everybody's joining in. Oh, yes, look at Chester. Say hi, Chester. How is everybody? Is that Lizette? How are you, sweetheart? Everybody's joining in. Let's give everybody time to come on for cozy bedtime story time with Miss Kimberly and Chester. How is everybody doing? Oh, good. You're doing good? Oh, Chester, yes, I know. Okay, we'll hold that and we'll show everybody when they come in. Hi, Linda Gray, joining us. Say hi, Chester. Oh, Ch oh, Chester wants to know how Molly is. Chester, you have a girlfriend. You have Rosie in Nebraska. Why are you asking about Molly Chester, Westchester? Oh, my goodness sake, Chester. Oh, look how sweet Chester is. Everybody's joining in tonight. We'll give everybody a few minutes before we get going. I hope everybody had a wonderful Mother's Day weekend. Tell Miss Kimberly what everybody did this weekend. Oh, I'm getting kisses from Chester. Oh, Chester, do you love your mama? Oh, yes, I know I loved. I'm sorry that Molly is crushed. I know. Chester's in love with Rosie. She lives in Nebraska. He has a big, it's his first crush. Right, Chester? I know, his first crush. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're waiting for people to join in. Hi, Chester. Oh my goodness. How is everybody doing? Okay, so everybody knows that Chester has been um, Amazon shopping. Um, he has. Um, we all know that he has gotten, oh, let me, I have to grab all this. Baba Sheep Bob, and we put this gem of a hat on Baba Sheep Bob. We need to take that off. Come here, Chester. You are so guilty of shopping. We got the Disney Fairy Collection that he ordered. We have the Santa Pillow. Yes, it's getting a little crowded in here. Um, and tonight, or today I should say, he ordered this flower crown. And because of our book, Chester ordered his very own wand on Amazon Prime. Yes, look at Chester. He, hi Paige. Chester ordered his very own wand. He wanted a magic wand. So this is what Chester ordered on Amazon Prime. Came to our door today. So I don't know how he's ordering all this, but evidently Chester, as you know, has figured out a way to take Miss Kimberly's computer, log into my Amazon account, and just go wild shopping. Yes. We have Baba Sheep Bob, look at the size of this, that we have to cuddle with every night. Look at that. We have the whole Disney Fairy Collection. We have the Santa Claus pillow. This hat, which makes no sense to me, but Chester likes it. I don't know why, but he does. Um, this I don't mind so much. He can shop and buy cute little things like this. Now this is a cute little, but this, no way. A Viking hat? No. But this I don't mind, okay? Because I can use this for the Nutcracker. So Chester did shop for this on Amazon Prime. He does have my approval for the Amazon shopping spree that he did and had it delivered. So I do like the, the, the wand. And this is going to make sense on our book tonight, okay? Oh, my goodness. I know everybody wants their own Sugar Plum Fairy wand. Well, Chester bought his own. He loves it. He's not giving it up, um, but it's okay. He can order this. Now this, I don't mind. He can order this. This, I don't mind if he wants to wear a beautiful flower crown. This, I do mind, okay? That is ugly, and that's a waste of money. I don't know how Chester can one day order this hat and the next day a beautiful fairy princess one. His taste, I don't get, but it's Chester. What are you going to do? You know, it's just everybody's different, right? Everybody's different. So that was Chester's big purchase today. 
the Sugar Plum Fairy wand. Oh, see, he loves it. And his own little Waltz of the Fairy, Waltz of the Flowers crown. Okay, Chester, that's a good, that's a good purchase. I don't mind that one. So let's get to, not, to tonight's cozy bedtime story time with Miss Kimberly and Chester. And it has to do with a magic wand. So Chester was very smart in his shopping on Amazon Prime. Good job, Chester, you smart little guy, you. Oh, he loves his wand. Look at this. Oh, I know, Chester. Okay, so let's get going on our cozy book. Okay, let's see. What is Miss Kimberly doing here? Here we go. Okay. All right. Oh, my goodness. Camellia and the Cupcake Fairy. Oh, this looks so good. On Camellia's fifth birthday, the Pink Fairy Postmaster, that's her, sent to Camellia what she dreamed of the most. Not a hat. Not a doll or a plant in a pot or anything else she already got. So there's Camellia. She is a fairy. And do you see she has a little cupcake on her head? And there's the fairy postmaster bringing her her birthday gift. Hmm. She tore out the paper and giggled with glee. A wand, said Camellia, and meant just for me. Oh, my goodness. It was so shiny and sparkly and new. Her very first wand. But what would it do? Oh, my goodness. Look at Chester and his wand. Chester, you have your own wand, don't you, buddy? I know. Yes, you do. Oh, Chester. If she waved it carefully and closed her eyes tight, could she wish for a party and dancing all night? Oh my goodness. All of her friends have little cupcakes. Do you see that? They all have cupcakes somewhere. Or if she sat nicely, not making a noise, would it make her bed neatly and put away all of her toys. Oh my goodness, that is a messy room. Will that magic wand clean her room for her? I don't know. Or would it put on a show with a dancing dog and cartwheeling cats and a singing frog? Oh, Chester, what do you think about that? You like that? Okay. Chester's wand might be able to do all that magic, too. The answer was no. But what would it make? Camellia was told was frosting for cake. <gasps> she found a plain cupcake, which she placed by her feet. Her wand at the ready to make a pink treat. So there's her cupcake, and there's her wand, and her kitty cat is with her. Let's see what it makes. And holding the wand, Camellia stood straight. She took a deep breath, but just could not wait. She waved it so fast, the wand would not stop whirling and twirling and flashing on top. <gasps> it jumped and it jerked with a rattle and shake. It jiggled and juggled till it thought it would break. Oh my goodness, look at that wand going to work. Oh, Chester, what do you think? What do you think, Chester? Would your wand do that, Chester? Oh my goodness. Then with a bang, bright stars filled the air. She looked for a sweet frosting, but the cupcake was bare. And there on the top neck, not making a sound, not making a sound at all, was a tiny little mouse with eyes bright and round. Oh no, her wand made a little mouse. Oh my goodness. So she started again, this time taking care to wave the wand gently. But look what was there. 
covering the cake where, where the frosting should be was mashed potatoes, was all she could see. Well, those are not Miss Kimberly's famous mashed potatoes. Oh my goodness, mashed potatoes on a cupcake? I don't know about that. So she tried one more wave, not too fast or too slow. Now topping the cake, well, there was nothing but snow and a snowman on that cupcake. Well, snowballs and a snowman, she didn't mind too much. But this fancy frosting was just the wrong kind. She did not want snow as her frosting on her cupcake. Oh dear, thought Camellia. This just isn't right. My wand is not working. I'll be here all night. Oh no. Chester, is your wand working, Chester? What do you think, Chester? Oh my goodness. I wonder if Chester's wand's gonna work. But then, when it seemed she was down on her luck, Mrs. Sprinkles drove by in her fairy truck. Camellia asked nicely, Oh, what should I do? Her teacher said kindly, I'll give you a clue. But with working alone is not much fun, my dear. But with the help of your friends, the job is soon done. Uh-oh, so Camellia needs her friends, says her teacher, the head fairy. So she called her friends on her pink fairy phone. There's her pink fairy phone. Molly and Maya were glad to be home. Said Molly to Maya, our friends in a state. Let's take our fairy wings and fly to Camellia. This problem won't wait. They held the wand steady with eyes closed tightly and they worked hard together and it shone a bright light. Then crossing their fingers in a shower of gold twinkles, they all wished together for frosting with sprinkles. Oh, oh my goodness. All of a sudden, the fairy friends found the tastiest treat with sparkling sprinkles and frosting so sweet. The best ever cupcake was right by their feet. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, so the wand could work wonders, but nothing compared to the gift of true friendship those three fairies shared. Look at that. Oh, what a wonderful, magical book. That just goes to show you, you need your friends. Right, Chester? Oh, Chester, can your fairy wand make a beautiful frosting on a cupcake? We're going to have to try that out. Right, Chester? Look at Chester's wand. Isn't it beautiful? Now this he can order on Amazon Prime. Yes, you can, Chester. This makes Miss Kimberly so happy. I love a fairy wand, don't you? And look at all those sparkles. Chester has really good taste when shopping for fairy wands. Not so much when he's shopping for a Viking hat. That one, I don't know. Maybe he hit the wrong tab. Did you, Chester? What do you think? Okay, Chester, here's your fairy wand. Okay, all my wonderful ballerinas, guess what time it is? It's time to get cozy. Oh, look at all of the things that we had to be cozy with. We have our Santa pillow that Chester ordered, our fairy Disney collection. We have our good Baba Sheep Bob, that Chester just loves to cuddle at night. This, I don't like. This is ugly. We don't like that hat. No, that is not good, Chester. 
But this, we love a fairy wand, right, Chester? Now that's good taste. So everybody get cozy in bed, and don't forget, thank God for your wonderful day. I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day. I sure did. I got to spend it with Alex and Avery. It was so wonderful. I loved every moment. So get cozy, and don't forget, always dream of sugar plum fairies dancing in your heads. Good night, everybody. I love you.